you ever play a game that you just played so bad in, like you play like absolute trash and someone still has to tell you that you play like trash? Well, let me tell you about my worst game ever. So you ever play a game that's so bad and you just really never wanted to relive, like you never wanted to think about it or even go through that again, hear anybody talk about it, see film about it or anything like that? Well think of a game about 10 times worse than that and that is definitely the type of game I had. So it all started when I was about 13 and I was just chosen for- Oh no no no, this, this, this is not going to do, we're going to have to fix this, hold on guys, I'll be right back. And much better. So, like I was saying, it all started when I was 13 years old, and I had just been invited to my first real tryout, and boy, was it scary. <laughs> now, when I say first real tryout, it's not my first tryout, but this is the first tryout that I actually had to be invited to. Um, I tried out for ODP when I was younger. This is I tried out for ODP before I tried out for ID2, and ODP was you pay to try out, and then there's a series of tryouts that you get to, you know, series of levels that you pass to make it to the final tryout, which is the state trial, and then from there, the regional trial. So ODP, you pay, you, you try out there at the first, very, very first local tryout, then you make it on to the next stage, and the next stage, and the next stage, you make the state team, and the regional team, etc. ID2 was a little bit different. ID2, you had to be recommended by several coaches in the area it can't just be any coach obviously it has to be a coach with high level status in the soccer community and they know that they know what they're talking about so that's the only way to get invited to try out for this id2 national team now a little bit of history when i tried out for odp i was still 13 so this odp trial was before i was still 13 and i'd made it to the state team i made the A state team, so the best one. There were four teams, an A team, an older team, a younger team, and a Z team. The Z team was pretty much just made because we had enough talent in Florida where they needed to make a whole nother team. So they did. And then all four of those teams went to Alabama to try out for the region. And then from the region to the national team, et cetera, et cetera. So I went to Alabama. I played really well two games and then I just fumbled it. The third game, unfortunately, my obviously my mom was there to watch me. Um, I I just I just blew it, honestly. I don't even I really just blew it. And my mom and my parents let me hear it. They they let me have it that day when they found out that I didn't make the region team. And it was it was just a crazy crazy experience. I learned a lot from that time. So I left there, and then I just tried to you know make the national team a different way, which is where ID2 comes into play. Now. ID2, this camp, or this tryout was hosted in Dallas. This is the Dallas one that I went to. And this one was played at the FC Dallas facilities with all the fields, etc., next to the stadium. And it was really, I guess in my in my heart, it felt like this was my time to redeem myself for how I performed at ODP, which was atrocious. Um, well, not atrocious, but not, not the best. Not up to my ability that I know I can play. So this is how I felt I could redeem myself to my parents and the coaches that recommended me and things like that, that believe in me, um, that I am good enough to play at the next level. And on this trip, my dad came with me. Um, so that already tells you like this, uh, this story is gonna get very, very aggressive because if I didn't play well, boy, my dad let me have it whenever I didn't play well. And that, oh man, so. Whew. So I finally get to um, Dallas and I meet my roommates, you know, well, I go check in first, do all the check-in stuff, uh, meet my roommates. Hi, how are you? I never thought I'd hear myself say this, but please come in, SpongeBob. Things like that, because I didn't, I, they were all new people. These all were new players that I assumed were like top tier in the nation. So I get my gear, first time I ever got like tons of Nike gear. This is the first time and I was ecstatic. I was 13 years old. I'm like, oh snap, I'm dang near sponsored by Nike. Like this kind of cool. 
Uh, so I get my gear. I go to my go to my room with my roommates. I have three, so it's three in a room with two queen beds. And at that point, I was like, "Oh, so I gotta sleep with somebody I don't even know? That's crazy." But I had to. I didn't really have a choice. <laughs> Gay. Actually, no. I think the person. Um, I think after day one, we decided if you didn't win your game, you were gonna sleep on the floor. But that's for the next the next part. I, so my dad calls me. You know the typical prayer, the typical get make sure my I'm focused and my head is in the right place. This is before the first training session. Um, at this point in my career, I was a striker. Hey y'all, come look at this. Uh, I was only a striker because I grew very fast. I was fast. I could finish. Um, my dribbling wasn't the greatest, but it wasn't bad. Um, my shot was pretty decent, and yeah, I scored. I scored goals. To be honest, that that's the only reason why I was a striker. The first training comes along, and they make the teams. And I look at my team. I'm just like, oh. Who are you people, y'all? Some, some, bro, some of these players are like, they should not be here. Cause I was like, yo, you got the shin guards with the socks com combination? Yo, I can't believe this. Some guys have the shin guard with the ankle guards. I was like, bro, this is getting, this is, this is, either these people all were recommended by coaches that shouldn't have recommended them, or they must be some real ballers because I couldn't believe people were still using, you know, the shin guards connected to the ankle, the ankle guards. I couldn't believe it. So, the first training comes along, and this training was easy. It was very easy. It was I. It was not challenging at all whatsoever. It was very easy. I was surprised. I was like, bro, man, I'm definitely going to make this team. I was like, there's no way I'm not going to make this team. So, at the end of the session, they tell, they talk to us, they tell us, okay, the next session is in the evening. Be prepared. We're going to play 11 v 11. Um, I'm like, okay, cool. These people trash. It's gonna be no brainer. It's gonna be easy as hell. Pretty much, I go home, talk to my dad. Well, I go back to the hotel, talk to my dad on the phone. Um, didn't talk to him in person. Typically, what my dad didn't really talk to me in person when it came to soccer stuff because um, he just he just wasn't talking. He liked to observe and then talk to me after. He didn't he didn't talk on the field or anything like that. He was not a yellow on the field unless I was playing like trash. Then he yelled. My mom, oh, if I was playing that trash or if I was playing great, she'd yell. You hear, you could hear it from, from all the way from Timbuktu, I promise you. So I rest up with my roommates. Uh, we talk about how the training went and all these guys were talking about how hard it was and how they struggled and things like that. And I'm like, bro, that was, that was the easiest training session I probably ever did at a tryout because typically the first training session is not really one for competition or anything like that. It's more of like just a, you know, see what the player can do, 11 versus zero, passing patterns, little dribbling through cones, nice little warm up to get the legs going after a long flight because everybody flew in from different places or drove from a long, from far away. So it wasn't, it wasn't typically supposed to even be hard. And these guys were telling me that it was difficult. And I'm like, bro, if I don't make this team, my parents are gonna kill me. Or they'll probably just stop helping me with soccer. They'll probably just be like, yo, go play the flute or something. And I'm just like, Bro, I got him. I gotta make this team because if these guys think that was hard, bro, I definitely have to make this team. So we're about to head out for the next training session, the evening one. And my roommates were not on my team. None of them. Not one of them. I didn't know why they just weren't on my team. So they set up the first game. And the first game I'm looking around, I'm like, oh man, this is the first game. Like this is gonna be this is this is gonna be tough. Like, cause the first session was supposed to be easy. But I was like, oh, this is gonna be tough, and I can really see, I can really see who's a baller now. So the first game comes, and I score a hat trick, and I'm just like, bro, what, what, what's going on? One of the goals, the goalkeeper kicked it at my back, and it went in. He, he, yes, literally, he hit it at my back, and it went in the goal. And I was like, bro, what the heck is going on? I wasn't even facing the ball. Like, I was literally in the, I was literally thinking, like, he was just gonna. Punch it. He was gonna like, punch it out. Like Jesus, and kick it out. I'll be fine. I run back and lose all my energy, etc. This man hits me in the back, and it goes in the goal for my third goal. And I'm just like, hey, whatever makes me look great, I I don't care. I don't. I was chilling. I was cool. So that we play another game against a different team, and I think I scored two goals that game as well. Two normal goals. Nothing too crazy. 
Um, I was ecstatic. I was I didn't know what I was thinking. I was just like, oh, I'm definitely making this team. I scored five goals the first day. Come on now. I got to make this team. Ain't no way I'm not making this team. So, yeah, I talked to my dad after the games, and I don't really think he was too ecstatic for how I performed, mainly because he saw that same thing happen to me, what happened to me in Alabama. I performed really well the first day, and the second day I don't perform as well. So he was, you know, he was really happy, but at the same time, he still like was like, you know, stay focused. You still have three more days left. Stay focused, do the job, make the team. You have to, and he's like, you have to make the team. I was like, okay, I have to make the team. Little did I know if I was even gonna make the team and not. I just was like, okay, if he says I have to make the team, I gotta make the team, simple. Oh yeah, I go to sleep. Well, actually, no, 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 I didn't go to sleep yet. Myself and the roommates talked about how the evening went and them guys lost all their games. I don't know, I guess they were on the two teams I lost and I was just like, bro, y'all, I can't, I can't relate to you guys. I mean, I wish I could, no, I don't, but I wish I could, but I really can't relate to you guys. Like, you're on your own here. I'm not, I, the thing about me on trials is that I was never there to make friends. Like, I don't make any friends on any trial I go on, none at all. Like, nobody I keep in touch with, none of that. I just go on the trial, worry about myself. If you get injured, if you are put in the wrong position, that's on, that's on you, kid. I, I, I don't care. I truly, I don't care at all. Like, yeah, still don't care. I don't care. I don't. I don't care. What'd you say? I just want to know what you said. What did you say? I don't care. I got to focus on me. You can gossip and worry about what you got to worry about, but I got to focus on the next day. Please, I don't have any time for any gossip now. Mm -hmm. Eh? Yes. Look at you. So the next morning comes, and it's just a, it's usually just an easy, easy morning. This this one was a little bit tougher than yesterday. A um, little more 5v5, competition-based, things like that. Um, I do all right. Nothing too crazy. Just all right. Nothing great. Not No type of hat trick or anything like that. I do all right, and I just, yeah, I just go back, go back to the hotel, talk to my dad some more, hear what the roommates got to say about, you know, them not playing well, and, um... Yeah.